keep tweaking uh, my uh, uh, my camcorder to get a better uh, uh, kind of pictures uh, or videos, but uh, I don't know. I I don't seem to be winning. I bought another camcorder, and uh, uh, we're gonna go from there. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, I'm stuck with this system. Uh, anyhow, I. Uh, I didn't do some videos uh, for a little while because I had the trouble with the storage device uh, but uh, I'm back and in the meantime uh, th there were a couple of topics that I wanted to go over and uh, I'm gonna make uh, videos that I was supposed to make in the past one of the this video uh, I'm going to uh, compile some techniques or some uh, healing uh, practices that uh, have to do with cancer and uh, uh, I'm not a doctor I'm not a professional herbalist uh, so uh, this is just a lay person's uh, you know uh, two cents worth uh, uh, you're not obliged to uh, you know follow these teachings and uh, also if your cancer is uh, advanced uh, there is no uh, way except through modern medicine chemotherapy and, uh, uh, and other practices uh, medication uh, so uh, this is just uh, you know uh, a kind of preventative uh, approach using herbs and also if you had cancer and your cancer is gone or uh, you had surgery or chemotherapy and you are looking for some ways to uh, mitigate or, um, or try to prevent the recurrence of cancer uh, these are good ideas to kind of have in the back of your mind a lot of my ideas uh, come from teachings of the Sufi master uh, Shah Mahsud, uh, I'm uh, uh, one of his de de devotees uh, and uh, also come from uh, teachings of Imam Ali and uh, I think that the, the, a lot of Indian uh, practice uh, uh, Islamic healing or Islamic herbal medicine uh, this was in vogue for a long time in India and in Iran uh, and uh, many other countries uh, uh, I guess uh, they were using Avicenna's uh, books on medicine until uh, like uh, end of 18th century but uh, hey uh, uh, so these ideas uh, came to mind because one of my friends uh, he has a girlfriend and the girlfriend uh, has cancer and she has been going through chemotherapy so anyhow, I'm just going to go through some uh, philosophy, some preventive ideas, and then, uh, uh, yeah, that, then that will be it. Uh, okay, please don't uh, quit going to the doctor if, uh, you know, this is uh, just a guidebook. Uh, anyhow, uh, I was looking at the Google uh, for causes of cancer and uh, uh, I, I also suspected that the, uh, the main cause of cancer is uh, uh, replication error or gene replication error uh, and that, uh, that causes or ends up in genes that do not resemble the original genes uh, the Sufi master said that in the human body uh, it rewrites itself and all the all the cells they die and then they're uh, recreated from the blueprint uh, and every 13 years the the whole body is regenerated from the from what was in the past or what was uh, the original genes uh, well uh, this uh, research I think is very valuable because uh, the human knowledge and technology we haven't really done much with uh, manipulating genes or try to extend the uh, um, 
life extension or any of that stuff. Our, our technology is more like a, a physics based to manipulate the material world and make little gadgets and devices, but we haven't really done much with the uh, with our own body. All that we have made some prosthetics, but yeah, a lot of these prosthetics are also they're not very good. I was asking my uh, my ophthalmologist, uh, they're, they're still not able to make uh, you know uh, artificial eye. Or they're very primitive uh, the technologies that are there, and uh, we we spend a lot of money on warfare and. I guess uh, the impetus for a lot of these uh, prosthetic devices is also the U.S. military because it keeps sending its Americans and they get blown apart in uh, the foreign countries and then uh, they have to come back here and try to live a semi-normal life. Uh, it's uh, really sad, but uh, uh, if we could use uh, a lot of these monies that being squandered in warfare, uh, we could do a lot more research and also make uh, gadgets or therapies that are more advanced or, or gene therapies. Um, I only know of one doctor that uh, even tries to uh, uh, you know, grow human organs outside of the body. A lot of this stuff is research. But uh, regarding cancer, uh, uh, Imam Ali uh, you know, uh, said that uh, the not eating a lot of food uh, or uh, like a, a kind of fasting or uh, when we are not fasting even then not to consume a lot of uh, food or different food it, it stops many of uh, uh, life diseases, many, uh, many things, obesity, diabetes, uh, a lot of that stuff, uh, because uh, uh, the body is not struggling to manage this excess, uh, all the products or half products or uh, uh, fat that is stored is, is, is not in the management business. It, it's is uh, well, the human uh, body can be uh, modeled as like a slow burning candle. Uh, well, I, I took some graduate courses in uh, engineering, and one of the courses dealt with uh, um, you know combustion and with uh, with uh, with. Uh, Systems that are like a, a controlled burn or, con or a slow burn. This is basically what the body I it does. It takes in uh, nutrients and sugars and burns them and then does all this stuff. So anything that uh, impedes uh, this metabolism, this burning process, it, uh, it creates byproducts. Well, actually, uh, in this class, we were uh, modeling, uh, uh, modeling the different uh, uh, burning systems that were elementary, and uh, then uh, we were modeling the uh, a simple candle. And uh, even with a simple candle, the the equations are extremely complex, uh, let alone human body, but. Uh, even with the candle, if the candle has uh, as a fuel or the body of the candle is not made of material or usually it's paraffin, but uh, if it doesn't, if the burn is not good and complete, if you don't have a good flame, and then it creates all these, uh, uh, creates a kind of stink or. It pollutes uh, the air, and uh, you know if you have a candle going and you're in a small room, then uh, you, you have to open the door. To, uh, s same with human body, uh, everything happens in a long chains, re chain reaction. Uh, imagine you have a chain, 
and uh, the chain branches off and each branch is a different product or different uh, hormone or different protein that do does something else. Like I was uh, taking uh, supplements for uh, uh, brain functions or cognitive functions and uh, there are uh, many uh, many chemicals that are uh, related <coughs> and the brain synthesizes or uses them uh, as they are available uh, as uh, it gets supply and converts it to something else for example I was taking a supplement pirocetam uh, but there is other uh, satams that are anira satam or other kinds of satam. They're all like uh, related uh, products or related chemicals, uh, but they they all uh, kind of tweak the brain in a different way. The same. Uh, I was also reading that the the, the vitamin C is is used in the production of or in the chemical reactions in the body to make 350 different ho uh, hormones and proteins and if the, there is not enough vitamin C the body uh, kind of stops making uh, certain uh, proteins a certain uh, uh, certain hormones and uh, uh, this brings us uh, brings us to another uh, hidden cause that okay when the humans were hunter gatherers then uh, we didn't have a stable supply of, of food stuff uh, and uh, uh, you know we weren't our food was not based on grains and domesticated animal feed uh, of, of or, or uh, you know meat of chicken or, or other animals uh, it wasn't the same food. You had to go hunt for the food. You had to go gather the food. Or you had to go f gather the food. So uh, what would happen is that uh, uh, the food or the nutrients that were coming in were not always the same stuff. Okay. So this is really important because the. Uh, 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 when the, the, the genes are replicating uh, in this process you need a lot of different proteins and a lot of different uh, minerals and vitamins to synthesize the new gene which is supposed to be a good copy of the old gene uh, if uh, you're living in the industrial age or post-industrial age and the stuff that you eat is always the same stuff okay so I mean the the human body does not have sensors that will tell you hey now you're missing salt or, uh, or now you're missing potassium I mean I figure out the stuff that my body needs that I don't I'm not giving it for example I figured out that I'm anemic uh, I don't get enough iron so I, I'm taking herbs, I'm taking uh, like cumin, or, or I'm taking supplements uh, and uh, uh, to, to replace that. But I wouldn't be conscious that I, I don't have enough iron. I, I wouldn't be annoyed consciously that I'm anemic. Okay, it's kind of like an exotic uh, deficiency that uh, the body has and you really need some type of uh, blood work to figure out hey this is missing but the, this, this is exactly what happens with uh, with many older older people that live in, in, in post-industrial society and they their body either does not absorb these uh, minerals or vitamins or or, or, or does not make the proteins they used to make in as much quantity, does not make enough testosterone, does not make enough uh, other nutrients that the body needs uh, and because their food supply and the nutrients that come in is always the same crap and is deficient in these things then uh, this uh, gene replication 
it, it becomes more pronounced uh, errors, more uh, more susceptible to things uh, be, uh, going wrong. Okay, so uh, one way for older people and uh, also for young guys, you know, uh, but I think most of the diseases uh, uh, happen in the later stages in life. Uh, is to uh, to to vary your food, okay? And the Sufi master said, don't eat anything that comes out of the can, because when uh, something is canned, it loses a lot of its nutrients and uh, a lot of its potency. For example, if you if you are taking garlic and if you don't consume it raw. It doesn't have a lot of the chemicals that are antiviral, antibacterial. Uh, you know, you don't cook uh, a lot of the food. Uh, if if uh, if you can consume a lot of the food raw, uh, raw vegetable, raw uh, onion, raw um, garlic, uh, don't cook them. There is no reason. Okay, so I mean. Uh, am I suggesting that you should become a vegan? Uh, that's a, that's a, a strong suggestion that, hey, there might be things that your body consistently is not getting. It consistently is not getting iron or selenium. And uh, uh, there are some nuts, like Brazilian nuts, that, uh, that uh, supplement minerals that the body needs uh, to 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 do uh, RNA replication correctly, okay. Then going around the same subject of RNA errors, RNA replication errors, is uh, is the fact that the many uh, viruses that come into the body and uh, when the virus doesn't have enough strength, okay. It, it kind of goes into a dormant state, and it kind of like it sneaks in behind the uh, gene strings and buries itself in the code. Okay, a lot of the genes they have a long stretch of the gene that doesn't do anything, but there's only a few portions of the gene that the human body uses to. That's really the blueprint for the future genes. And when the, these stupid viruses go in and they bury themselves in these genes, it, it increases the number of errors. So uh, the, by eating fresh food and by eating stuff that's antiviral and antibacterial, uh, uh, you minimize that. Also, uh, you mi the, so the whole idea is. Uh, is to uh, live in a way that will not interfere with this gene replication process, okay, by, uh, by, by boosting immune and getting rid of uh, viruses and, uh, uh, okay, the, the things that uh, uh, prevent, uh, um, prevent the viral or bacterial infection, uh, there is a long list of herbs uh, I, I'm just going to tell you uh, four of them that I use, and uh, I don't know, you, you, you just Google it and find these herbs and use them with your food. So, uh, I use uh, a lot of raw garlic. I eat raw garlic every day with food. I don't cook it or nothing. Even uh, when you put the raw garlic in your mouth, your uh, saliva does something with the garlic. It increases its potency, okay? So, uh, I don't know, maybe you have to go wash your, your mouth to get rid of the smell, but this is a really good uh, herb. Then, uh, I use uh, three different mushrooms, uh, and uh, a lot of these mushrooms are very potent antiviral and antibacterial properties. One is like chaga mushroom, uh, it comes off of a, uh, I think it comes off of a mushroom that grows on oak trees, and uh, in the Russia they used to use this for cancer treatment or prevention. 
Then there is another uh, mushroom that comes from the same tree and it's called lion mane, like the hair of the lion, because it looks like kind of hair. I, I think it kind of looks like whitish powder, uh, but uh, I don't know if it was processed, the one I bought. And then uh, there is another mushroom, it used to be very exotic, uh, only very uh, wealthy Chinese uh, used to have access to it. It's called the Cordycep, and uh, it's chi much cheaper now. I bought some, it has very potent, uh, it does a lot in the body. Uh, so, uh, but there is a long list of uh, herbs that do similar stuff. And uh, you should you, you should boost your immune. If there is uh, uh, there is vitamins or minerals that uh, uh, that do that, and I think that all the people that are susceptible to cancer or have had cancer, they should you should uh, get a lot of vitamins and, and mineral supplements. But the better way to get the vitamins and minerals is not to buy them as pills, but to get them off of, uh, um, off of herbs that are very nutritious, like cumin. Uh, I have so many herbs, uh, uh, but the, the good thing with herbs is that they, they don't they jolt the, your system, and the body kind of absorbs it in, uh, like food, uh, more of the nutrients that it needs. Uh, I, I think um, herbs are just fantastic and uh, when the body has all these uh, uh, minerals and vitamins for the needs for replication and there is not so much viral and, bacter and, and bacterial processes going on then the replication of genes can happen more, uh, more uh, easily uh, also, uh, you, you need to boost uh, your metabolism, like uh, like when you have a candle that's not burning very well and creating soot, or if you bring in uh, pure oxygen and uh, blow it on the candle, the candle suddenly the flame becomes stronger. Uh, and this is the, you need the regular exercise, regular. Uh, uh, muscle tuning, this regular uh, uh, increase in metabolism, uh, and then uh, what? It also, what it does, it, it kills all these uh, uh, all these byproducts or half finished products of metabolism. The body is forced to use them, uh, and they get out of the system like a. Uh, any oxidants or any stuff that you, you don't need. It's kind of uh, a weird uh, uh, philosophy, but uh, hey, uh, it's based on what actually happens. Uh, the much better way of getting the nutrients is uh, from juice. Uh, and you know, I don't say that completely abandon the pulp of the fruits, but. Uh, I like uh, juices that are, that are packed with vitamin C, like uh, you know, fresh orange juice or carrot juice, or fresh uh, vegetable juices like uh, V8, or and uh, so these are some ideas uh, to uh, to help uh, this uh, replication, uh, gene replication, but. Uh, Studying uh, stuff that goes wrong with the gene replication, it has a lot of research value. I was watching uh, this movie Pro Prometheus, and I think there was a sequel to it to another movie that uh, some civilizations uh, in the universe they might be far more advanced in gene manipulation. And uh, if in the movie you see that uh, the astronauts they ingest the wrong kind of uh, uh, gene that comes in and modifies the gene replication and suddenly a monster is growing inside the astronaut. But uh, hey, uh, if we learn this, how this process works, we could like use it for uh, life extension, uh, you know, uh, manipulation.
manipulating genes to uh, replicate according to a, a much earlier blueprint. Say, for example, I had access to my genes that were uh, that were my genes when I was like my twenties, uh, and then uh, somehow I could trick uh, my uh, existing cells and genes to instead of using these older genes uh, like a f genes of 58 year old man use this earlier version it's like you have an operating system and it gets buggy because the, there has been uh, hacking and break-ins and you uh, but you have a master copy from the past and you come in uh, every once in a while you reboot the system with the original uh, blueprint I mean uh, these ideas are kind of uh, fresh but uh, <coughs> it's something to think about uh, why do I need uh, to replicate uh, an older version of me why can't I have a <laughs> well, uh, uh, I was much more effective of picking up women and blondes when I was in my 20s but <laughs> you get my drift huh okay so uh, th those are a couple of very good uh, points and then um, uh, if uh, cancer has gone far then uh, th you're stuck with the uh, surgery or chemotherapy and uh, I, I think that there is to some extent uh, a lot of the cancers are caused by uh, uh, heavy metals like uh, okay human body c c does not use like very heavy uh, metals like polonium or uh, you know metals that in their uh, molecular in their atomic structure they have a lot of pr uh, protons it's like the the internal atom structure is packed with protons okay so the is the human body is like a chemical factory and it's always in communion with different uh, atoms and some atoms they, they're not supposed to be there at all uh, and uh, when they enter the human body, the body is very hard pressed to uh, to get rid of them. I, I guess the uh, the Israelis, the Zionists, they killed uh, uh, Yasser Arafat by uh, poisoning him with polonium, which is a uh, heavy metal. And uh, uh, I guess the body tries to. Uh, uh, take these heavy metals and deposit them in the bones or far off corners of the body because it, it just doesn't know how to uh, bring it into uh, its uh, urea into the into the to this uh, system that it can uh, exit the body so uh, this is another cause and uh, I guess it would cause a localized uh, uh, accumulation of these metals or cancer causing substances there are some substances that are that, that are never supposed to be in the body I guess uh, uh, that covers it and then um, there is other uh, causes I don't think these other causes are very important or very m very much uh, a higher frequency but Okay, in the universe, there are, there are uh, many black holes, or there is cosmic radiation. This cosmic radiation is composed of uh, the stuff that a lot of stars have done, and some of the particles that are in space are extremely uh, energetic particles. Uh, they come in and they hit the atmosphere, and uh, they. Uh, they break up and become like muons or positrons or electrons and then they they come down further down and they they, uh, they all eventually become weaker uh, either electrons or uh, photons but uh, 
if uh, some get through and they they hit the human body they can create localized it's like you have a code on a CD but somebody uh, burned part of the CD with the, with the candle like it creates a bunch of errors in a part of the code and when the genes they try to replicate they can't do it uh, I guess this is a m some kind of mechanism for evolution or uh, well the human body is evolving too and the body uh, creates genes uh, all kinds of genes and plays with them to get, uh, get to do stuff that's currently harassing it um, like uh, uh, the Sufi master said some uh, cancer cells or defective cells they are cancerous cells in our uh, zeitgeist in our uh, uh, current history but millions of years from now uh, they, they, they could be uh, the genes of uh, uh, another species that has evolved from humanity uh, this is, these ideas are kind of far out but uh, uh, if things change drastically in the environment the genes uh, will try uh, to uh, adapt to this new environment I mean I was looking at some of the uh, literature or uh, stuff that has to do with ET or extraterrestrials and I think a lot of them have very big eyes like huge eyes like an eye of an animal that lives in caves or, or I think that the, a lot of these animals the Martians or, uh, or creatures they, uh, they live a, a large part of their genetic history in caves or they were forced into caves like the Martians because there were cat cataclysms uh, uh, or there were nuclear warfare and the people who survived they were in the caves and the genes adapted to this new environment so uh, something might be cancerous cell now but millions of years from now it would be the new creature uh, I, I think I pretty much covered uh, a lot of these stuff uh, pretty much uh, yeah, if you become a vegan uh, uh, or eat very fresh food very fresh vegetables uh, um, and you know, use herbs uh, nutritional herbs are also herbs that boost immune system uh, and uh, what else uh, you, you, you'll increase your chance of preventing cancer and then uh, also uh, I would stop eating a lot of uh, fish that comes from uh, oceans because uh, many industrial uh, uh, companies they dump their, uh, uh, their uh, refuse into the ocean uh, and uh, uh, I read that uh, there is a lot of mercury in the ocean water so I, w I would just s stop uh, eating food that could bring uh, these heavy metals or stuff that uh, ne was never supposed to be in the human body okay uh, I, I would stop eating those things uh, uh, and also uh, uh, be mindful of where you live if there is radiation uh, from ground like radium or, uh, radi uh, or radiation from space that this radiation can get to you you know like a uh, high elevations uh, those are also uh, um, uh, the things to avoid uh, I guess in the old uh, English literature uh, when the British got sick they, they would uh, really retire to country they would get away from cities uh, any industrial production centers or uh, uh, generally stay away from chemicals or stuff that confuses the body and it has to struggle to do its gene replication naturally 
and uh, uh, thank you very much for being in my uh, YouTube channel uh, these are just some ideas okay uh, you know don't give up your doctor and uh, uh, remember you live in order to enjoy life you are not put on this planet just to become a patient for a doctor okay so these things are supposed to be therapies so you can uh, uh, kick back and relax and live if, if, if the therapy becomes your life then, uh, then that, that's another problem uh, please subscribe and uh, my stuff is uh, uh, at least this video is somewhat uh, research thank you very much